time for a sail. Hold fast! What the bloody hell was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the Crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. Bring around no broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. Round shot for a start. On my mark! That Well done, boy. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Prepare to fire! Fire front! Some old powder in there! Good! Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Fast learner, provided something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jet tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Bring her to half sail, man. Half sail? I want everything. Loosen to full sail. Why is he shooting at us? They sink the bastards! Destroying property of the crown, disturbing oh. the king's peace, take your pick! What do we do? Naught else but to fight Give back! The sink the bastard! Another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? Come on! 
Carry on, Sam. Not bad for your first boy, Jay Boy. Now we best be getting back at the old man will have my guts for garters. I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. You weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now, you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote-operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Testing. 
One, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice, strong signal. Just a heads up. There's no elevator access from here on out. You'll have to get up there the old-fashioned way. Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. About. And a not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively at the paste. Shut up, Sean.
the lit up crane. You should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Shot! A joke. It was a joke. Or was it? Wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you've got to the count. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. I know everyone thinks I'm being silly, but I can't shake the feeling we're being watched. We are being watched. By Juno. Or some version of her. Do you think it's a recording? Or is she a ghost? Or something else? Is she talking to us the way Minerva talked to Ezio? No clue. I mean, who knows what else they were working on down here. There's still so many rooms we don't have access to. But do you think she's like literally down here, waiting somewhere, still alive? Still alive? That's mental. That I mean she'd be at least 75, 80,000 years old? No, well, powerful, yeah, but not that powerful. They came down here looking for a way to survive. Maybe they found one. 